if dramatically open floor plan, dramatically different with dramatically breathtaking views of nature or what you're looking for, let me show you this one. What's up everybody, Chris Young, and I am standing inside the all new 2021 Forest River Cherokee 274 VFK. Let me tell you about Dramatic. This one, which is a V-nose travel trailer, which means that it takes up pretty much the entire space, the length of the frame of the RV, because a lot of times you'll see rounded edges or you'll see flat edges end before the nose of the, uh, the, the, the frame. This one goes all the way up, which gives you the option of having so much more space. I'm standing inside the kitchen, which is on the front end of the RV. V nose, but look at the space that I have here. Solid surface, seamless countertop. This is a chef inspired kitchen. Got my spice racks right here. Got the graphite style or matte black fixtures all the way around this because this is the limited package. You're gonna see that sprayer nozzle over the farmhouse style sink with the apron, undermounted, even have my sanitary station right here. So if I wanted soap or hand sanitizer, but look at the reach that I'm gonna get with that sprayer nozzle. Having that creature comfort of home, it's gonna be nice. Plus I have windows and that's what's gonna be the thing that really separates this camper from everything else. I mean, sure, Forest River insulation's great. We got 20, uh, 13,500 BTU AC, you got 20,000 BTU furnished, you got insulation, you got the sealed enclosed underbelly, you got just wazoo, 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 all that stuff, great, high ceilings, the whole nine. This one is going to be separated from the rest of the pack by the windows, the views that you will get when you're out in nature. If you're a nature buff or you say, hey, we wanna see the sunrise no matter where it's at, this is the one for you. This right here is our smallest windows. Right up front, I got two on both sides. Camp, off camp, bam. Frosted glass inlay on these shaker style cabinets with the beautiful residential style fixtures. Look at the space that having this V-nose allows me to have. 10 cubic foot fridge freezer combo right here. That is a, um, oops, the other side there. Sorry, Bobby, I have to come over here, buddy. All right. That is on the 12 volt and it's one of the vibration smarts. Got my battery disconnect down there too at the bottom. But this fridge, I mean, just residential, beautiful, giving you plenty of space, store the drinks, the food. You're not gonna be, you're not gonna be cramped with this one. Over here, I got my dual USB charging ports, got my voltage meter right there, power port, yet another large window on the campsite, high output microwave and three burner cooktop. What does high output mean? It just means that you're gonna get more power uh, than you would on most travel trailers. Like for example, the voltage on this is gonna be a little bit more. And for this, the gas, the flame setting is gonna be a little bit more. LED accent light there. Got my oven right there. So if I wanna do some baking, I could. Full extension on the ball bearing drive, solid wood construction. You're gonna find that all the way around this Cherokee. Deep box there as well. And Got my spot from my trash can right there. Plenty of room. Right over here, I got more prep space. Plus I got power. I got my mushroom lights, LEDs, solid surface countertops. If I wanna make this my coffee station, absolutely could. More storage here. Got three more drawers going all the way down. Once again, full extension. I got 40 inches of drawer space under the booth dinette here on the off camp side. But take a look, not only at the beautiful inlay here, the solid wood construction on the super slide, got the zebra shades, large panoramic windows with the wood balance, got the residential style curtain on both sides. This is your reconnection space. This is what I call the hangout. So the, the VFKs are great uh, because you get room. If you know you're gonna be entertaining people, but you need to sleep six, somewhere around that. But you know people are gonna be coming and entertaining. You're that type that goes out Maybe you're visiting the family or you're taking people with you or you're doing that meeting at the campsite or at the beach, the mountains or whatever, and you know there's going to be more people coming in and out, but you don't want everybody to be cramped. Just take a look at the space, the room that we have here. Oh yeah, I'm going to get to those in a minute. But this is your reconnection spot. So if you are that couple, that small family that's going out, you want to see nature, you love the views, 
This is where you sit, sip the morning coffee, have the evening meals, play the games, reconnect with the loved ones, because that is what it's all about. And with this being, um, you know, good high ceilings, check out my skylight I got right here too. You also want to check whenever you go see a travel trailer. So I'm, I'm over 6'2", and this right here, you got to watch for the head for the headroom and the slides, especially if the booth dinette doesn't extend past where the slide is, that means you're gonna be getting up under the slide. So just watch for that, watch your headroom so you're not knocking your noggin like I do all the time. Got a captain's chair right here, recliner. So if you wanna kick that back all the way, open up these ginormous panoramic windows right here with the solid wood balance. Imagine setting this up as a deer blind. Man, you got your little stand right here. You take an aim, you're ready to rock and roll. Sure, you can set up that way. It's your camper, do with it as you wish, do with it as you please. Mounted speakers, because these are dual zone. The entertainment center is set up to play music both inside and out. Got my TV backer right here, my hotspot, my booster. Got my cable connections, my power. I got my AM FM controls right here, the Driven, which also has near field, which means if you have a cell, uh, cell phone has NFC on it, you can connect up to that. You can also Bluetooth into it, but the near field will let you control it. There's also a remote, there's an app you can download that'll let you control the, the lights, the slides, the whole nine. Uh, Forest River really thought about the convenience of people when they go out camping. Got more pantry space right here. If there's only one negative, to this camper that when I first came in, I wasn't crazy about is if I'm gonna use this as pantry space. Now granted, I got a lot of space over here in the kitchen. I got a lot of room. I mean, look, I even got over here beside my control panel, even got a little spot right there that I can pass stuff through. But if you needed the additional pantry space, you're looking at a hike over here to get it. That's the only negative that I saw when coming into this camper. Pass through bathroom, which does a good job at separating the space. What does that mean? If I'm in the master bedroom, I have access to the bathroom. I'm not gonna mess with anybody if they're sleeping out here. I need to go to the restroom. I can and vice versa. Somebody out there needs to go to the bathroom. They're not gonna come through here and wake me up to do their thing. Got my hangers right here. Got my vent fan right here. Neo angle shower with the glass doors. Love these because of the space and the headroom. Just take a look at the skylight, the headroom that it gives me. We don't even really need the lights on, but ready for that privacy? You got it right there. You're not cramped left to right. Good space to do your cleaning. Got the corner notches. Got my shower nozzle right there. Large single basin sink right here with the graphite style fixtures. Storage underneath. You got the angled plastic bowl with the foot flush. Um, you got, of course, residential slip resistant, easy to clean flooring, just beautiful. Just everything in the Gray Wolves, beautiful. But you're not going to be cramped. I mean, look at the space. I got leg room for days. I could kick back and take a nap if I wanted to right here. Not going to be cramped. Mirrored medicine cabinet. Got my raised lips right there, which this helps when you're in transit to make sure that when you set up and you got to open this for the first time, anything that you have in here isn't all, you know, flying all over you. Second access point going into the master bedroom right here. As Bobby comes around, I got my remote charging station with my USB power ports right there. Regular power ports, mirrored ward storage, large doors right there. The only thing I like to add there is maybe some strut support because these are big, big cabinet doors. Push button LED lights, got dual USB charging on the other side as well. And storage right there, which curves around and is accessible from the outside. Large window here, TV backer. If I need, I uh, got my cable, my power ports right there. If I want to put a TV right there, I could. I mean, just space, style, and comfort. Let's, let's go back out here to the living room, Bobby. Because I wanted to finish on the jackknife sofa out here because, see what I mean about hitting your head on the slide? You gotta watch for that, man. You gotta make sure that when you come in to check one out, that you check that out too. Um, or just do what I never do, just be careful. These zebra shades, windows here, windows there. I got my jackknife sofa here. 
and I got my large window right there, dual, plus all the windows in the kitchen space. If you're a nature buff, maybe you want to go bird watching. You know that the Audubon Society is having their meeting in Tupelo and you want to go there to watch the birds. Guess what? You will not have a bad view from anywhere inside this all new 2021 Forest River Cherokee 274 VFK. This also reduces down into a sleeper, which jackknife sofas do. Didn't know if you knew that or not. Hopefully you did. Love the windows, love the zebra shades, love everything about this one. So what do you say we go check out what's on the outside of this V-Nose camper? So here we are on the outside of the dramatically dramatic all new 2021 Forest River Cherokee 274 BFK. Lots of stuff in there because there's lots of stuff in there, man. Take a look at that. Look at that. You got that big V nose over there. It gives you the extra space to do the kitchen and look at how much room is, is utilized coming all the way up to the powered tongue jack which for me is essential in any camper. I got my battery hookup on one side. I got my LP hookup on the other. There's your twin 20s right there. Covered up too and secure. So if you're one of those people that are like, eh, I don't like having my connections out in the open. One of these is great to consider because of the space. Now, it does make it a little bit heavier. You're talking about a gross vehicle weight that's roughly 10,000 pounds. So, but a dry weight of roughly, like, you know, 78, 7,900, that's where you want to go. Powder coated frame that is welded all the way down. It's not bolted, it's welded. So that makes it extra secure, extra safe. Plus we got the enclosed underbelly under there. Got my leveling jacks right here. Solid three steps going in to the beautiful tinted privacy glass door. Huge fan of what they did right here. Kind of like what, what Bob says when he first saw it, he says it really adds to the aesthetic, the, the pleasing appeal of setting up at the campsite. And that's a great point. I don't think I could have said it any better. Grab handle that doubles as a door guard there. Here are my, as we say in South Boston, Virginia, windows, um, windows, sealed safety glass all the way around, but window, a window, a window, a window, a window, and pillow, that's how we say it. Double axle travel trailer. You got the nitro filled tires with the tire monitors. And these are the 15 inch aluminum rims on those Dexter Easy Lube axles. And this extra wide berth right here is really gonna help with the suspension going down the road. You're not gonna be rocking back and forth. Large awning with the LED light strip. I got my connections and my plugs right here. So if I wanted to set up the TV outside, I could. Got the mount right here. Got my driven dual zone speakers, which are also LED backlit. You get that going. You got the gray on the blue with the blue lights here. You got the blue LED light. It's beautiful. It really is beautiful. Down here underneath, I missed my LP Quick Connect, which is actually up in the front. You can see it right there better under the stairs. So if you bring your grill, you can set that up, do the grilling right there. I got my fold upstairs right here, leading into the master bedroom. Ready to go, just put those away. The leash latch. This is something that Forest River, because you know they, they know you're probably gonna bring the fuzzy friends along with you good safety option for them. This is that storage that's accessible from under the master bedroom in the rear of this camper. Plus it's finished off. We got the LED light strip, got the four by four sewer hose storage here, tire rack and spare tire or bike rack and spare tire right here. Plus you got a little extra storage right there. The only thing that's weird about this is uh, to access it, you pretty much got to take the secure pin, right, lay the rack down to put anything additional in there, but you do have that. Set up for backup camera prep, Plus we have those arch ceilings with the three inch rubber nozzles, keeping the rain, the snow, the elements off of everything, including the slides and you. City water connection, fresh water connection, got my 30 amp service right here. External shower with hot and cold. Got my main terminations right here, or your sewer outlet connections, your gray, tongue, you know, your gray tanks, your black tanks. Plus I got my white tank or my low point drain right under there as well. That's a good way of, you know, cleaning out that fresh water tank. My cable connection right there. This might be a little bit of a tight fit, but Bobby, see if you can see, uh, you probably won't be able to see it, but right under there is also our low point drains, just past that beam. And these T9 chassis, which I'm glad you got a chance to see that beam. Look how big and wide that thing are. Solid, I mean, just a solid, well-built camper, secure, got the heated, I uh, got the enclosed underbelly, just such a good option to have. 
Okay, this is where the rubber meets the road, literally, the info panel. This is where you come to see how much does this vehicle weigh? For example, gross vehicle weight here, 99.85, roughly 10,000 pounds. Dry weight, you're looking at roughly 8,000 pounds. Um, that's when you wanna ask your specialist. Say, hey, what does that mean? Because here's what my vehicle can tow. What's the difference between you know the dry weight and the gross vehicle weight? Am I really gonna put 1,200 pounds of stuff in there with the tanks filled? I mean, that, that, that's gonna be tough to hit, but you never know. You never know what you're gonna take with you. That's why you need to ask the questions and let your specialist help you. Let them guide you through that process and find the right RV for you. It's about the experience, not only the camper. You wanna make sure the experience is something that you like, because if you don't, you're not gonna to wanna to come out and do it again. You're not gonna to wanna to camp again. But if you're a family looking for beautiful panoramic windows, views, space, amenities, and comfort, I gotta tell you, take a look at the front kitchen of the 2021 Forest River Cherokee 274 VFK. Very freaking nice. I mean, come on, it's got a silent K in there somewhere, but leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you like about this one. What'd you not like about it? The thing I didn't like about it, the walk to the pantry, but at the same time, for those views, my gosh, man, imagine pulling up at the beach, watching the sunset. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh no, like a pot of neck bones. Leave me some comments down below. Love hearing from you. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. If you would, please click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we have a video come out, you're the first one to see it. Until then, I hope to see you soon. But please, come out and check out a camper because they're fun. I'll see you soon.